How's it going everyone? It's Cloud Chief and it's actually been a while since I've done one of these progression videos and considering with the new Ambuscade weapons out I thought it would have been a good, good time to talk about progression that I've made with my character. War was really the first main job that I leveled up with uh, Kalifla and there. as of right now it might help if I'm on the right set So, I haven't made a ton of uh, progress with my war since, you know, I originally had it set up. Uh, you know, you get your job to level 99. I then got Sparks gear. After that, I went and did Alluvian Skirmish and just got in 119 gear. Uh, just enough to get going. And then I went ahead and cleared... What is it? The just Ambuscade Very Easy Version 1. So that way I was able to go talk to Obero and can start getting uh, weapons and stuff like that. Um, and then since then, obviously with Ambuscade Unlocked, you can join a group. Let's do, uh, like, you can do Very Easy or Easy. Just enough to get you the NQ Ambuscade gear that you can get from Total Hallmarks. And then you can keep going. From there, you should be able to hopefully handle normal. Uh, and then progress, you can get the plus one. And then you can even, in your first month, get two pieces plus two. At this point, it's been so long. So this is what I've been kind of rocking for the most part. Uh, so I'm pretty much full Flama, except for the legs. I really like the triple attack. Plus the attack's always nice compared to what you get out of just Flama. It's just eh. I mean the store TP is nice if you really need it. The store TP. I mean obviously it's going to depend on the job. I really like the multi hit. Uh, I am actually using. I will switch to these hands eventually for the double attack, but I'm giving that up currently before essentially the store TP and the crit uh, is what I really want out of it. Uh, I need the store TP to hit the current, you know, whatever hit. I, it's not a great uh, hit build. It could definitely use improvements, um, but it's like a five or six hit build. I think it's a six hit build. Depends if I'm using the sword or the axe. I think it's six with the sword and five with the uh, axe. Uh, this belt's really good. Uh, I'd like to eventually upgrade it to a plus one, but that's not a huge rush on that. That can actually take some time. As for the body's really good, although they'll eventually replace that with um, Valorous with some decent augments. And um, the plan is for the legs and feet to upgrade them uh, with artifact plus three. So I need to be doing omen, and I'm going to start doing omen a lot more. Uh, the big thing about this set that I currently have is that I'm missing 5% haste to hit the haste cap. So I'm relying on this grip. But I sat down the other day and I'll be able to switch these hands in and, uh, and then with the legs and feet with the AF plus 3, I will be at haste cap like that. That would free me up so that way I'm not going to uh, not be at haste cap, uh, gear haste cap with Udo Grip, which is obviously an upgrade and something else that you want to get. And um, like I said, plus I'm at haste cap, it frees me up in uh, just other slots. Another thing to get is to replace this with uh, Brutal Earring once I go and do that. I might go do that this week. Uh, once that's done, it's pretty solid. Uh, the only thing might be to replace this ring with a multi-hit ring that War can use. Uh, the best one to really use that would be the one from uh, Omen Boss. And that has the quad attack on it. Uh, but that's essentially where I'm planning on to progress my War. Once it's at that point, I'm not sure how much more I will be trying to progress it besides obviously getting Aeonic. Uh, I'm currently at the point for Aeonic for her. Uh, I just need to beat Kieran and Sky, and then I can move on to the Rising Jima mobs. Uh, 
but I haven't been putting much focus on that. I could also get the ammo spot that comes from, um, was it the Tensin uh, High Tier Battle? That uh, has some store TP and I believe some accuracy and attack. So, really, from here, from how I've really progressed, because uh, Ambuscade plus two gear is really good. It will get you by, but uh, there's obviously improvements. That would be just for the TP set. Weapon skill sets, uh, you could use a lot of help. Um, let's see. I think this is Vit. Yeah, so this is my Vit set. Uh, getting a plus one ring would be nice. Uh, I. This is a decent earring. I wouldn't replace that. I'm keeping that for the three Vit, but I know you can get more. Well, I was getting an earring for that. Having the one ammo piece uh, that drops from, I think it's the Thinker in Omen, the mini boss. I've actually been trying to go and fight uh, that and try and solo it. But I keep getting the one that gets blessings, and that one's just a really pain to solo. It'll be easier for the one that does pain sink, but that's a whole separate matter. Uh, in terms of gear upgrades, that's really just really need the rings. Uh, getting the ammo piece swapped out. Uh, eventually, getting the AF body would be nice because that's plus weapon skill damage. Um, this has, yeah, so it would be keeping the feet. I'm not sure what I would be doing for legs. I'd have to maybe do a little bit re more research for that. And ideally getting uh, AF3, or no, Relic plus 3 head, because that has weapon skill damage on it. That's really good for war, but because that's highly sought after, that's extremely expensive. Um, so that's where I would try and do with this set. So that was the VIT set. Strength sets even worse because was it? Yeah. So I could replace this ring. This is good. I don't really need to replace that because you get a decent. Uh, the set bonus is pretty good. It's like eight. And considering I have, you know, some flama pieces in there, you will get the set bonus for that. Um, same thing for strength. I could get better earrings. Uh, having the one ammo piece would definitely be a benefit. Um, better ring. In terms of actually like body pieces, uh, the same thing. Would want to use the body and then use the the AF body and the relic head because that's going to have weapon skill damage. Uh, you would probably keep this on. I would think for weapon skilling there might be something better. I'd have to do a little more research on this because this video is kind of more just off the cuff. And um, I'd have to check out for legs also. But definitely would keep using these feet and essentially would go with that. Uh, the, was it Gorget and Belt? If you don't, there's, for a lot of weapon skills, there's typically something that's better, but Using these is always a really good option. It's never a bad option to be using these. So, and then the capes, I just use, what is it? So, yeah, I have one for Vit, and I think this one's for Strength. It just has the weapon skill damage, uh, the 10% with making sure I'm maxing out the attribute for max damage. And this one's my TP one. I personally like having regen on my TP one, that way I'm always getting HP back when I'm, you know, TPing, and then in case damage is coming in for weapon skilling, because there's not really much else to help with weapon skilling, uh, I like the damage taken, just it makes you a little more survivable if you happen to get hit by a nasty move while you're uh, in your weapon skill gear. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much for that. The only thing I could think to improve my damage taken set might be to actually make a lower tier damage taken set. Like, one that has me at damage taken cap while still also doing decent damage with decent accuracy and, and uh, attack. While also at the same time not shoving my HP so high. Because the reason is, if I'm soloing and then I slap on this set... Here. So... Because you can see my current t uh, HP, I think it's slightly higher than that was what my cap is. 
Oh, that's because I'm in weapon skill gear. Yeah, so in TP gear, I'm almost at 2,600. If I slap on my damage taking gear, see that immediately throws me in yellow. And yeah, 3,000, so 3.6 uh, K HP. So the problem with that is, especially when you're dealing with trusts, they'd love to start cure bombing you. And the thing about it is, as soon as I go back into my TP gear, it's now going to obviously cap, and now all that HP got wasted. Um, but obviously, if I need just a straight defense, uh, you know, the tank goes down, I'm the new tank, I'm going to be trying to hold it and giving myself the most survivability. I think this set is going to pretty much put me there. Uh, this set has me at the damage taken cap. It's basically just full sovereign plus one. I'm using, yeah, Moonbeam is always a good option because of the HP. I don't need Defender's Ring to hit the cap, so having Volcane is, you know, better because of that. I love having these on because that's just more HP. Um, and then Moonbeam Cape again, HP damage taken. So it's just a pretty uh, defensive set. So I think something that I could do and have been wanting to do and just haven't bothered is setting up a damage taken set that's using more of the like airy set, this stuff, because this all has damage taken on it. Um, I think that would actually be better for certain situations, and I should probably have different macro sets uh, that like I would just switch to, okay, I need this damage set as opposed to uh, this one. I think I would perform better by doing that, but that wouldn't be that hard to set up. I did set up, and I don't have it in all all my macro lines. Like I have certain sets for when I know I want to be uh, getting a spike in hate. So this is uh, pretty much all amenity plus gear. Uh, I could, if I wanted to waste another slot for another cape, which I don't think I'm going to do, I could get cape up to 10, but I feel this is more than enough. Goading belt's the best I could do for amenity for war for this, because I actually have something better for paladin. Uh, I have this augmented. Um, all right, I moved all my gear around, so I think it's set right. Yep. So that has 11 amenity because of the augment on it, which is pretty good. These things are ridiculous for an amenity set. I like how this stuff's been moved all around. So that's 15 for that. Not sure the look. Maybe I just thought it was better to keep the HP. Actually, if that's the case, I would be better off doing do moonbeam making adjustments on the fly because that'll give me more HP and more amenity and then again just have these in there just for more HP uh, this is actually a decent piece I actually got this from uh, Legion uh, and that's actually really good. I've actually seen a lot of uh, sets actually recommend uh, either the triple attack or it has two amenity and then like one triple attack or the it's two amenity and two fast cast. But for tanking, five vit and then the enemy critting you 2% less, that just seems better in my opinion. Um, so that's really nice. And then the unmoving collar, which comes from, uh, was it Samantha, the Marlboro out in the jungle, uh, the Unity NM, you can get that. So this is just a really nice amenity set, and whenever I've had to pop it, I get a decent amount of hate. Yeah, so I have nine amenity on that. So, yeah, like I said, I actually, I guess I did make a, uh, I just haven't incorporated it yet. So this was what I was kind of talking about. Let me see. Am I at? So it'll be 15, 20, 30, 7, 44, 
48. So no, I am at, so I did actually make a set. I think I just wanted a lot of accuracy and attack. The only problem with this set is they're probably nowhere near haste cap. Um, let's see, so three, four, seven, 14, yeah, 17, so I'm well below uh, haste cap for this set. But, um, so I'll have to see about making improvements to that when I get some of the more of the gear that I was talking about obtaining. But I mean, that's really where my war is at and kind of where I want to progress it further. I would like to also do Relic Axe and get that afterglowed. Uh, I think that's a really good, uh, like, hybrid tanking uh, DD piece. Uh, I do want to actually try and do some stuff and make some videos more for war about, you know, like, tanking and DDing. But that's pretty much it for my sets. I mean, I have a pull set, but the only reason for that is I'm subbing Red Mage for when I'm in this set. It's keeping me with movement speed. It's giving me MP because of Flume Belt, and then I have this one for getting, uh, you know, more CP, considering I'm pretty much exclusively in this set when I'm, you know, pulling. But that's where my war is at. That's where I want to progress it. Uh, so right now the biggest thing for me is going to be doing uh, Omen. I just need to go get a lot more, uh, do a lot more Omen and do, uh, get a lot more cards. There's also, obviously, Omen drops where... Uh, I need improvement, but that's kind of been my focus, and that's kind of the direction I've taken uh, my war. If you have any questions or even suggestions, feel free to leave a comment to get a discussion going. The nice thing about this game, there's so many different uh, slots, there's pretty much always room for improvement. Oh, actually, I didn't, one last thing I didn't actually talk about. I went ahead and actually purchased. What was it? Yeah, Blurred Shield plus one. And I want to actually try and set up a fencer build with using this axe, considering how good the axe is. And uh, the biggest thing is, is it's just right now without being at the haste cap and just kind of how my gear set, it is really crippling. I think getting the legs and feet uh, plus three I'll make a big difference to start doing it. Another thing that I want to do with this, I've seen a lot of people talk with this axe basically being like, oh, so now War Nin's back and everything. And you should definitely, especially with a single wielding, have Nin in your arsenal. There, You definitely should. But I mean, if you're in a group trying to Zerg, you're already going to be at uh, haste cap. So you're not going to get really increased uh, melee uh, damage that way or getting tp faster since you're already going to be at haste cap if you're dual wielding um and the only thing that nin really gives you is survivability so in the little bit of research that i did i want to try out i want to level and do dark knight so literally would be you know doing a fencer build especially in this helps increase fencer um there's a lot of good job points that you get with war from gifts that help fencer and i would like to try doing you know, war dark knight now, granted, that's only going to be a viable option if you're going to have a solid tank that's keeping hate off of you. Otherwise, you're probably going to be better off subbing Ninja. But I think you were potentially going to get more damage subbing Dark Knight and going with this. Because Last Resort is a 25% uh, attack increase. Um, Soul Eater, which is 5% of your hits, or 5% uh, of your HP for every hit done. Uh, is extra damage, so that's pretty decent. Again, if you're not tanking and uh, keep the hate off of you, there was also I think it was is it a damage limit job traits. I think you get two of them from subbing Dark Knight uh, that you wouldn't get otherwise, because yeah, the, you're not getting any damage benefit from subbing Ninja. Uh, the only benefit you get is going to be whatever stats are on your second hand, and this is as pretty good stats already with the accuracy attack and then the weapon skill damage. So I'm interested in trying that out. I'm surprised I haven't seen any talk of, you know, people trying to do, say, a War Dark Knight build single-handed. Uh, I'm definitely, that's going to be something that I'm going to be working on soon. 
Uh, it'll be one of my side projects. It's one of those things where I'll just be streaming randomly, and I'll be leveling Dark Knight up to 50 for that. And yeah, so I'm interested in trying that out and see how it performs. Like I said, though, it, you know, I'm not saying, oh, if you're a new person leveling up and you want to go with the, you know, doing a fencer build, doing one handed, you know, don't bother with ninja. Uh, you definitely want to have ninja in your arsenal, especially if you are a DD who's dual wielding. Uh, that's something that you definitely want, but I, again, stuff situational, so I'd like to actually see, you know, it used in different situations. When I know I got a solid tank, I'm not going to have to worry about pulling hate. I can just try and, you know, do max damage. I'm interested in seeing how this uh, build will perform, but again, I right now need a decent amount of upgrades to really make it work. But yeah, so that's where my war is at, and that's where I'd like to take it. Go ahead and leave a comment, uh, you know, what your thoughts are on any of this, and if you have any suggestions or uh, thoughts about it. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in, thank you for supporting the channel, and as always, may you have success in all you do.